everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Riley and today we're just kind of be wow I can't even talk we're just kind of be doing like a try on of everything I've got um, last month slash this month so far it's all the holiday sets I figured we just do one video just putting everything on and just doing like a quick recap of like how I feel about everything um, I did go to Olden Sephora today and I did get stuff um, and they are holiday kits, but they're not for me. They're gifts. So at the end of the video, I'll show you. We're still doing our holiday series. We're just going to take a little minor break um, this week just so I could get those gifts um, in time and get them hidden before Justin comes home. <laughs> but at the end of the video, I will show you. So if you want to know the stuff I got for Justin and a few stocking stuffers for the people, then just hang on tight. Um, and if you want to see all the holiday sets that I got and me put them on, then keep watching. Let's get started. Okay. So let's go ahead and just do primer. My brows are done. I did them off camera, but I didn't set them yet. We'll do that together. And I'm just using the NYX Professional Makeup Micro Brow Pencil. I've been using this. I'm almost done. Um, and I'll pick up another one soon. But we're going to use the Smashbox um, Primer Water. The cute little set I got last week. Um, yeah, so we're just going to spray our face with that and let it kind of sink in. Um, I'm just going to kind of put my hair back a little bit. I look like a boy when I do that, but whatever. Um, so really quickly, I just want to talk about this Milk um, Hydro Grip Primer that I got in another kit. I really do like this primer a lot. It doesn't break me out. I know my skin looks really bad right now, but it's not from this. I haven't used it too much, but when I do, I love it. Um, so I'm pretty happy with this, um, but we're going to use the Photo Finish Primerizer and Moisturizer today just because my skin is feeling a little dry yeah these are all so watery like do you know is it supposed to look like this I meant to bring all my my Smashbox kit into Ulta today when I went in and show them and ask if this is like how it's supposed to be because I've never used like the primerizer or the photo finish one um before so I don't really know but this is you can hear it's um pure liquid as well so but and i read, read, read the reviews on ulta and these got really good reviews so i don't know but this too oh okay it's not quite oh that's weird it's not really liquid anymore because you remember in my other video we could shake it and hear the liquid you can't now that's interesting so this is our original photo finish smooth and blur primer it was also in that kit i got those three um i don't even remember for how much so remember, this was pure liquid last time. What? And now it's a gel. So I don't know what, I don't know. Really weird. I have no idea. It even feels a little different. Oh, kinda, not really. I'm just gonna put that in my pore area. Kinda where I want things to be blurred. Yeah, that's really weird. I don't know if it was because I don't know like it wasn't in my car for that long either so I don't know that's really stinking weird um but I do think this kit is a good value especially for the sizes they're really good sizes sorry Oof. okay so I'm just gonna spray my sponge really quick with this you guys know I like to do that I'm still just using the morphe sponge I love it Probably my favorite sponge out there. Sorry, I just need a drink. I'm like winded. Whew. Okay. So now we're going to use the Too Faced Do You Full Coverage Fresh Glow Foundation in the shade Vanilla. I got this last week. I think at Marshall's. It's a pump. Um, I've tested it out just a few times since then, but I didn't like it how it looked with the warm or. -er. What is the powder I use? Oh, hourglass powder. Jeez, Lord help me. I didn't like how it looked with the hourglass powder, so I have a different powder we're gonna set it with today. Uh, the smell gets me every time. It is like a strawberry cucumber scent. Really pretty. Really, really pretty. I think I picked this up for like 10 bucks. And I'm pretty sure it retails for 36, so that's a really, really good deal. And I think the Smashbox kit was like $25. No, it was $22, and I got it for $11. That's right, because I got it on Black Friday. 
only thing I don't agree with this foundation, and it is not full coverage. Like, so I use, oh my god, why can I not think? Oh, the Estee Lauder foundation for a while. That foundation's full coverage. This, I don't think is even remotely full coverage. Because look at that, you can still see all of my acne and my texture. I don't agree that this is full coverage at all. What are your guys' experiences with this foundation, if you have any? Yeah, look at that. It's not full coverage. Like, it's really pretty. It looks really pretty on the skin, but it really is not full coverage. I've got Justin's dog here, Tanner, again. So, um, <laughs> hopefully he's not too loud. He likes to talk a lot and run around the house a lot. So... Got him laying down right now. Hopefully he stays laying down, just chilling. Good boy, Tanner. That was him that just sneezed. Okay, so yeah, that's like one layer. Like, that was not full coverage. So I have some more on the back of my hand. I'm just gonna take it and kinda build up around those areas that I want. Yeah, my skin is just like freaking out. And I don't know why. Like, I quit, like, I just started using the bare minimum of, like, my skincare to try to, like, maybe let it breathe a little bit and see if that's what it needed. And it kind of helps, but I don't know. My skin's just freaking out. So this is two pumps. It is not full coverage. But it does look really pretty on the skin. Like, I don't hate it. Okay. So, next, where is it? I'm losing everything. Oh, man, I really am losing everything. Where did it go? I just had it. Oh, I'm so confused. So, I did grab concealer, right? I swear I did. I have like the immediate products right over here. Mm, sorry, sorry, sorry. What the heck? Oh my gosh, you guys. It was literally right in front of my face the whole time. Someone help me. Anyways, this is the Too Faced Born This Way Naturally Radiant Concealer in the shade Light Nude. We're gonna be using I, this is Mer I can't talk. I got this at Marshall's as well. Um, I think I got it for like seven or eight bucks. So not too shabby. I've been wearing this a lot and I don't mind it. It's not my favorite concealer, but I don't hate it. You guys see Tanner? Tanner. He's such a jerk. So I'm just going to take some more Smashbox primer water and spray my sponge again just to get a little bit more damp to blend. Some concealer. We're gonna try to not make this video too terribly long, but we'll see about that. Tanner, go lay down, please. Okay, so I'm just gonna bring the concealer on my lids too. Oh, he's gonna try to drink water, I know it. Tanner, no. Tanner. He knows. Go lay down, please. Sorry guys. <laughs> so yeah, I went shopping today for at Ulta and Sephora just for like the rest of Justin's gifts I wanted to get. So Justin, if you're watching, stop watching please because some of your gifts are on here. <laughs> um, I did get him some other things. So since I already gave the disclosure that if he's watching, just stop watching. Um, I got him a little like moon lamp that has a like our family picture on it and then... I got him a mug because I have a cup that says Emma's mom on it that I got from the Hopeful, Hopeful Heart Project at my retreat. And so I got him a matching one that says Emma's dad, but his is blue and mine's white. It's really cute. Um, and then I got, so he is a full-time student and so he sits at his desk a lot and does like a ton of homework. And so his back usually starts to hurt after a while. So I got him a massager that he can that he can put on his chair. Tanner. Sorry. 
so he can put on his chair and it will like massage him and do heat. Um, so I think he'll really like that. I'm just gonna kind of blend out. Make sure I got all, everything good. Um, so I have that. So I really hope he likes that. Now I'm gonna just set my face with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in 110. So yeah, I really hope he likes that. I thought it would be nice since he has to sit at his desk all the time and his back usually starts to hurt from it. And then I, he really, really loves pizza. Like it's his favorite food in the whole world. So I got him, oh, I don't know what that was. I got him um, a pizza maker. Um, and so that's kind of cool. It makes like 12 inch pizzas. And I'm gonna get him like the ingredients for like crust and stuff. Um, and then I'll show you what else I got him over here. But I'm also gonna get him one more thing. I'm gonna get him a smartwatch, like a Fitbit or something, because he has, it's not a Fitbit, I don't know what it's called. But anyways, the band broke and he doesn't, I don't know. It doesn't like track his sleep. It's not as great. It's a gardener, I think, if that sounds right. So I'm gonna get him a new watch too. And then, let's see, what else am I gonna do? I had a few ideas for him. I was going to do, what am I trying to say? So he has Tanner over here, his dog. It's his dog. Um, he's 12, he'll be 13 in March. And so I was gonna make him like, you know those little paw print ornament things? I was gonna make him one of those. Since Tanner probably won't be around too terribly much longer, I thought he would really appreciate that. So I'm gonna do one of those too. Um, and then let's see, what else is I gonna do? Gonna, oh, there's this little cool thing at Hobby Lobby, I think. You can make your own like wooden, I don't know if they're coasters, but you can like engrave them yourself. And so I was gonna do that and just do like stuff about us, like our names and stuff like a family thing I thought that'd be kind of cool so I'm gonna do that for him for Christmas as well and I hope he really likes it I'm freaking out that his moon lamp isn't gonna get here in time though for Christmas because it's shipping from really far away and it hasn't even shipped yet so I'm freaking out Um, so what are you guys getting your significant others for Christmas? Uh, he's probably the hardest person to shop for in my opinion. So the face is set. We'll see if I like that foundation better with that powder. Um, hopefully I will. Let's just go ahead and do a little bit of bronzer. Um, we're going to be using the Kylie kit that I picked up. And we'll just go ahead and take Toasty. Now that my face is all set. This does have a mirror, it's just like not the biggest mirror. We aren't gonna use the highlighters in here because I have two other highlighters that I got too, but I really do like the highlighters in here. They're really pretty. Just gonna do a quick little bronze. I'm probably not even gonna contour to be honest because I have to work tonight. I don't normally work on Mondays, but one of our leadership guys got fired and so people have to cover his shift until it gets like it gets filled so i have to work tonight it's only like a three hour shift though it's not that bad i don't go until seven o'clock tonight and i can leave right when the jet leaves so that's not bad at all yeah i really love this bronzer it is so stinking pretty and it just goes really well with my skin tone like i don't think i've ever had a bronzer go just like this nice for my skin color sorry i'm just trying not to make this video like 10 hours long sorry if you can hear my cats in the background they're naughty i'm just gonna blend this out everywhere yeah i still don't know how i feel about that foundation i'm still gonna have to test it out some more hopefully doing it with a different powder i'll like it a little better bad um anyways yeah really like this palette I'm so happy I picked it up um I think I forgot a blush brush I was actually gonna do blush so I'll just use this um we're gonna do a baddie on the block it's a nice blush I mean it's fine I just don't like wear blush so since we have this open we'll just do blush right now Yeah, 
Yeah, cute. See, it's like a cute little flush to the skin. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just spray the face really quick to melt in all the powder. We'll just use the Smashbox one again to melt all the powder in. Okay, so we'll let all that sink in to the skin and we'll jump in and do some eyes really quick. So I picked up this Makeup Revolution palette. Yeah, I haven't used it on camera yet too much. I think I used like one shade. This is what it looks like though and it's actually really beautiful. I've used it a few times off camera and I really love it. So I kind of wanted to use it today for you on camera so you can see how it performs. Um, and I don't know, I just want to play with it more. I haven't played with it too much and I want to, I don't know. It has a nice big mirror too, so I can use it. Yeah, I'm liking it a lot more now that it's I, I sprayed my face and it's all like melting together. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take this Morphe brush. It's the Morphe M441 and I'm probably just gonna take Henduism and just kind of put it all over the lid just to make sure everything is set. Just lay it down. This it does have a little bit of kick up. You can even see. We'll just do something kind of simple. I don't want to be here like all day, you know what I'm saying? Since we are doing a full face pretty much. Sorry, I had something in my eye. So then for a transition shade, we're just gonna go in with is that charisma? Yeah. Charisma, and we'll throw that um, in the crease. The same brush. Tanner, lay down. Please lay down, buddy. I'll try to just make this a quick, simple look. Tanner, lay down. Come on, lay down. Tanner, lay down. Sorry. Lay down. So I'm going to take this other Morphe brush, the M518. All my animals act up when I'm freaking filming every single time. I don't know why they do that. Let's go on with Sweethearts right here and just put that in the crease as well to just kind of build it up. I do want to use a little bit darker of a purple because I did wear this palette in my monthly favorites and I did really like my eye look. So I did a pretty neutral, easy one. So I want to do just a little bit more color today. Ooh, this one has a lot more kick up too. I don't remember there being that much kick up when I used this. I'm just going to blend that in the crease. I do really, really like this palette. It's $15 and it's, in my opinion, so stinking worth it. So now we'll go ahead and take this Luxie 208 brush. And let's go in with, hmm, let's go in with Suave right here. We'll just kind of put that in the outer corner and into the crease as well. Bobo, what are you doing? All oh, my animals are so naughty when I film because they know I can't get up. Really pretty shade. Yeah, what the heck? I don't remember there being that much pickup when I use this. Okay, pretty. I like it. Now I'm going to take this Luxie brush and I'm going to kind of go in with a deeper shade. I might just go in with this Nymph right here, this deep purple, and put that in the outer V as well. And just like a smidge bit in the crease. Not a lot though. Just to deepen it up a little bit. Yeah, I like that. Not as much kick up with that darker purple. Let's 
Yeah, I like that. Okay, so this is where we're at. And we'll clean this up a little bit when like I'm done. Um, so now for the lid shade. What do I want to do? Which would you think, guys? I've used like this one and this one, so I don't want to use those. Um, let's go in with center right here. So I'm taking on the finger. Oh, okay. Not as like boomph as the other ones that I've used. But I also didn't put concealer down with this one, and I did the other, so I have to keep that in mind. This one might be more of a topper, though, because I feel like even if I did put concealer down, it wouldn't have made much of a difference, if that makes sense. This reminds me a lot of, um, actually, the Huda Beauty palette, the Mini Obsession Mauve one. I'm getting those vibes a lot right now with the eye look I just did. I'm just gonna kind of build this up on the lid. Maybe just a little more. Yeah, see, it's just not like crazy pigmented. Next time, I'll definitely put concealer down with it. But I remember, remember I'm trying to be quick. So I'm just gonna wipe this off really quick. And we'll just go ahead and finish it a little bit. Go back with it. Go back in with the Luxie brush, suave, and just kind of blend it the edges a little bit. Do the same on the other eye. And then take this other smaller Luxie brush back into the deep purple and just deepen up that outer V a little bit more. So yeah, this shimmer shade probably isn't my favorite of the ones I've used so far, but it is still really pretty. Okay, so let's just clean up a little bit. Let's go back in with this big Morphe brush and let's just take, yeah, the Charisma again just to blend the edges a little bit. Probably should have done my eyes first since I got a little like crazy, but whatever. Yeah, not too bad. I don't mind it. Ah, I like it. This is a really good palette. I super recommend it. Um, just that one shade, which I'll show you again. This one probably wasn't the greatest. I think it's more of a topper, but it's still, regardless, really pretty. Um, you just had to like finagle it just a smidge bit. Um, so let's just go ahead and finish the eyes. I'm going to set my brows with the Anastasia Brow Gel, which I did get in that Sephora kit. And I do really like it. It's nice. Set your brows in place and they don't budge. I just hate how big the spoolie is. But other than that, that's like my only complaint. Um, okay, so where is the liner? Y'all, I'm a mess today. Okay, so we're gonna use this Marc Jacobs liner on the eyes. Um, I got that in the Sephora kit as well, and I do actually really like this. If I can get it open. Oh my gosh, we're already at 24 minutes. Holy crap, I swear. We'll, we'll be quick. I can never open this freaking liner. Why? It's just like so hard to get. Oh, there we go. So just a black liner, it's retractable. I do like that, it's really pigment pigmented and it does stay put all day. So we're gonna tie it on and go on the waterline with it. Oh, I love it. So it's negative, I think like four out right now and I have to work tonight, I'm so not looking forward to it. Okay, so I'm just gonna curl my lashes really quick with this Pure Lash Curler.
Okay, and then I'm going to go in with the Tarte La Lights Camera Lashes. I got this one in the Sephora kit as well, and I have been enjoying it. So we're going to use that today. Um, I'm not going to put anything on the lower lash line. I'm just not feeling it. And I'm going to make this video as quick as possible for you guys. I'm going to show you all the kits that I got. I believe the Sephora kit that I got was like $25. I think it retails for $38 though. I did not recommend that one. Um, the products are just too small for the price you pay. Simple as that. Sorry, I'm so picky with my lashes. If I wouldn't be so picky, my videos wouldn't be so long. Okay. We're gonna call that good. I really do kind of love the eyes today though. They're really pretty. Um, it's a little messy, but you know it is what it is. I'm having a kind of a messy look today. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and go into a highlighter. I'm gonna use this Fenty Sandcastle Highlighter, the mini. This is what it looks like. It's gorgeous. Um, I got this kit, which I also got a lip gloss with for, I think it was $24, and I loved it. It is definitely worth the $24. In my opinion, it's a beautiful, beautiful highlighter. I love it. Just gonna highlight. Ooh, y'all, I'm a mess today. This is so pretty. I'm so happy I got this. So this is probably my still the fa my favorite thing that I've gotten from this whole series. Isn't that funny? It's a freaking highlighter lip gloss set. And I'm just gonna yeah, I'm just like highlighting everywhere because I love it so much. And to be a little extra, I got this in the Sephora kit as well. It's another Fenty one. It's in Hustla Baby and Moneymaker. I don't really like this side at all, but I like this. So I'm just going to kind of top this part on my cheekbones, like right here. Just for that extra little, like, oomph. You know. <laughs> it's so pretty, though. Yes. Love my highlight today. So, holy smokes. Let's just do lips really quick, shall we? I got this um, e.l.f. kit. It's the e.l.f. Nabla Noara. Um, I don't like the lip liner. It's too dark for me, but I want to try the liquid lipstick by itself, so that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to line my lips first with this Tarte um, Lip Crayon. Just really quick. I'm pretty sure this is in Namaste or Boho. I'm not sure which one. My favorite lip liner though. Okay. So now that the lips are lined, let's go ahead and go in with this. It is, I believe, a matte liquid lipstick. I don't think it dries this down all the way though. If I remember right. Yeah, I like that much better without the lip liner. This is a nice shade for me. Okay, so that's good. So while I wait for this to dry before we put on the gloss, I'm just gonna set my face with this Becca Skin Love Glow Shield Prime and Set Mist. I got this at TJ Maxx for like 12 bucks, really good deal. I've been loving it, it smells like cucumber, so I'm gonna just set the face with it. Yeah, really fine mist. I like it a lot. This is a good find. My lips feel pretty dried down, so I just want to share with you the two glosses that I got. It was this Fenty one um, in Sweet Mouth that I got with the mini highlighter, so this was the set. And then I got this Becca Glow Gloss in like the Champagne Pop Collection. Um, I believe I got this one at TJ Maxx for like eight bucks. Um, I'm probably gonna use this one today though, just cause I think it's just gonna go better with my look, but this is a really good gloss. Go to TJ Maxx before you ever pay full price for it, but I really do like this one as well. 
But we're gonna go in with Sweet Mouth. Oh, this gloss is so good. Yep, holy smoke. So, holy cow, we did it. We made it through that. Um, we're at 30 minutes, holy smokes. This is the final look. What do you guys think? What are your favorite kits from what I got so far? And what do you guys want me to test out? Okay, before I let you go though, I'm gonna show you the gift sets that I got for Justin and other people really quick. So I did go to Sephora. I just got back. Um, I got this Laneige um, Kiss Me at Midnight kit. You get the Lip Sleeping Mask and Berry, Mint Choco, and Sweet Candy. This was $28, not too bad. They are a little bit smaller than I would have thought, but I'm gonna use these as stocking stuffers. Um, Justin loves, loves, loves mint chocolate. So I'm gonna put this one in his stocking. It's just really teeny tiny. This is what it kind of looks like. Oh yeah, it, it legit smells like mint chocolate. And then the other one that came in this set, Tanner lay down, is this sweet candy. Another really small one. Mm, this one smells really good too. And then the full size is this one and it's just like, I believe the berry one. Ooh, I don't know why I thought it was solid. I thought it was, um, this one doesn't really have a small. I don't know why I thought it wasn't gonna be solid. I thought it was gonna be like liquidy, but it's a solid. So interesting, um, but I am gonna just get these and put them as stocking stuffers. And then I spent my points on a little cologne for Justin. It's this Versace Dylan Blue cologne. He has to go out, but he just needs to be patient. Um, this is what it looks like. It's so tiny and cute. I'm just gonna throw this in his stocking too. It was like 250 points, it was whatever. <laughs> but I thought it was really cute. So I'm kind of happy I picked this up. I don't know if he'll like it or not. The lady was just like, it's a cute stocking stuffer. So I was like, sure. Okay, and then lastly, um, I went to Ulta too. And I got Justin this Jack Black skincare kit. It was $40. Um, he doesn't take care of his skin right now. So I'm hoping this will push him to. You get a um, glycolic facial cleanser, a double duty face moisturizer, an eye balm, and a turbo wash energizing cleanser for hair and body. Interesting. Um, but I want to give this to him. Hopefully he'll use it and start washing his face more with cleansers. <laughs> um, and then I got him this um, wonderful wonky banana from the body shop it's yeah banana and he loves it does it smells just like bananas and he loves the smell of it so I got this for him too um, and I think this was like 21 bucks it was kind of expensive but it's massive and it'll last us forever so it is what it is but that's everything I got what do you guys think about the gifts that I got people do you love any of them are you gonna grab any of them let me know in the comments below but I'll see you guys in my next one bye